Hi, it's Jenny from I Love You More Than Gumbo, and I am here with a Timu haul. That's a little bit of a mix-up of things and clothes. I'm getting ready to go on a cruise next week, so I've got a couple of things for my cruise, and I've got a couple of things not for my cruise. So let's get to it. I've got one thing here that did not work for me, but it's not a flop. It's actually pretty genius. It's just that I am not built for this product, but I wanted to give it a try. So it is called a bra towel. Yeah, product name, bra towel. And um, I did try it on. I'm too endowed for this but it will probably fit my sister. So I'm going to gift it to my sister. But the concept is, yeah, you, it's got a little drawstring. Sorry, my dog. <laughs> That's Juneberry, everybody. She's um, a puppy and very curious. So they have a little drawstring so you can make them shorter or taller. Now Juneberry's not happy with me because I wouldn't let her play with the bra towel. But you put it around your neck and then... Um, uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you put this so that when you're out of the tub, you can put this on while you're doing whatever you're doing and don't have your bra on yet. So if you're a woman, you know how genius this is. So I'm going to gift it to my sister. Um, I'm sure this would fit up to maybe a D cup, but I'm an L cup. Yeah, it's not a blessing. Don't get it twisted. And I thought, why not give it a try? It was originally $3.14, and because Timu gives you refunds if the price goes down, or they give you um, credit into your Timu account. I'm so sorry, the dog's making noise. She's a howler and a whiner, and she wants to play. She's sitting outside of my husband's. TV room warning him to get up and play, but he's watching football. Anyhow, um, but they did give me a partial refund for this. They gave me a partial refund for a lot of items. But anyway, it was originally $3.14, and I think I ended up paying around $2 for it. So here she comes again. Oh, baby. Okay. We're done with that. And it's not a toy. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Good girl. The next thing I have is this really awesome cup holder that hooks on to your the metal part of your headrest and it comes with this short one and a longer one um Juneberry is just she's a diva she's been quiet all day go to film and she's gonna whimper to go outside and play um, but this just detaches and you can put the longer one on if you have a thicker, bigger seat, like for a larger SUV or the smaller one on. I've just got this in my plug-in hybrid escape. So I'll put the shorter one on. I could probably use the longer one if I'm being honest, but this works. I had a platinum expedition and that had cup holders everywhere. And I'm used to that. And now that I have um, downsized to a plug-in hybrid escape, I don't have the cup holders like I used to. So I bought just one of these to see how they work. And I love it. So I'm going to order another one. This was $5.48. And I did get a partial refund for this in the amount of $3.05. So this came way down um, in price. So over the discounts they kept giving me, this came down a total of $3.05. So, yeah, I ended up paying $2.43 for this. So that's awesome. Okay, the next thing is something I have for my husband. So, Scott, if you're watching, close your eyes. Skip over this part. For my husband's birthday... I thought this was just really cute and funny. He doesn't like a lot of attention for his birthday. So 
It's just, I'll show you the inside first, a blank card. So I can put whatever I want. The fun part is the front. Isn't that funny? So I have a very corny sense of humor, very corny sense of humor, and he knows it. And so the cornier it is, the cornier it is, the more me it is. So this was very in my we all have sense of humor. So I'm going to bring this on the cruise to give to him the night we're going to have birthday dinner with him. And then his official birthday party, which is just going to be um, his kids and me and their significant others. It's going to be at an LSU game um, that actually happens on his official birthday. But we're going to, with his sister, who's coming with us on the cruise, we're going to celebrate his birthday at a dinner. And that little card was $2.69. Now, this next thing, my hair is doing, this next thing, flop. Okay, I'm just going to warn you. I had high hopes. It's so beautiful. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. A little carved music box. And it's nice smooth wood. Won't give you any. No splinters. I mean, it's beautiful. And the music is by a band everyone loves. Okay. This is beautiful. High hopes. Plays a popular song. You'll be lucky if you can guess what the song is based on the music in the box. Listen. Yeah, I think that's different enough. I will not even get a copyright strike for that because it is the creepiest, most sinister version of Bohemian Rhapsody I have ever heard. I went and filled out the form to return this. They told me to keep it. It's that bad. Yeah, that was $3.98 and it has been fully refunded to me. So... Flop. Total flop. Okay, the next thing on my list. Two things, actually, because I put them in uh, together. You can tell just by looking at it what it is. Yeah, it's exciting. So exciting. Um, let me pull this out that I put in here, and I'll show you that in a moment. But I got this for our granddaughter, my stepson's daughter, but it is a Marauder's Map. It is so cool. Isn't that the coolest? She's going to have so much fun with it. And this is, you know, lifted up a little so it's kind of 3D looking. Just for her to have fun with. She's a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, her birthday's coming up. And... She's having a Twilight themed birthday party next weekend. And, you know, we got her a cool Twilight themed gift and a fun not Twilight themed gift. And for Halloween, I gave her some Harry Potter stuff. And this didn't come in in time for me to give her her Halloween stuff. And this is another that she loves Hermione. And I got this for it. it comes in gold tone and silver tone. But I thought she would get a kick out of this. Isn't this awesome? And it spins. So she can turn back time. Sorry, I had to. But isn't that awesome? So I'm going to give her that too. So she can play like she's Hermione with her Marauder's Map. And my mother, um, I don't have it with me because we gave it to her already. My mother crocheted her a Hermione doll. And I made her a sublimated um, tumbler, stainless tumbler with the, um, 
fabulous trio from Harry Potter on it. And, um, yeah. So the map was a dollar 81 and the necklace was 98 cents. Those have not come down on price because they are very popular items, but I just put them together in the plastic to give to her like that at her birthday party. All right. The next thing is this t-shirt I'm wearing and it says fall for Jesus. He never leaves. But that was really cute. And that t-shirt was seven dollars and nineteen. No, sorry. Seven ninety seven. This t-shirt, another one, and I'm wearing a size two X, which comes to a size sixteen, I believe. And this t-shirt, Frog and Toad from Frog and Toad or Friends, one of my favorite books when I was a kid. Um, I got this one, and this is the one that was seven dollars and nineteen cents. And I got it in the Heather Blue. This one is the Heather Gray. Or Heather Slate, one of the two. Um, yeah, so I got these two t-shirts. And they are very soft. Oh, baby soft. And very, very comfortable. Um, I think there's only one thing left on this. And I'm going to have to cut here and try it on for you. Be right back. Okay, guys, what do you think? I need to put on some Spanx to hold in some of my curvy bits, but overall, it's not so bad. This is for one of the formal nights on the cruise. I think it looks pretty good. I just need to rustle in that part, my poochy hips. But yeah, I got this for 26 Let me double check that price. Yeah. $26.76. Not so bad, huh? Woohoo! I love the length just above the knee, so it's not too short. I could be comfortable. It's very forgiving fabric. I love the long sleeve, so I can wear it any time of the year. It's a very breathable fabric. The sequins, as you can see, are small, so they don't it's very soft. It's not itchy at all. So, yeah, I just put on some Spanx and that'll suck all this in. Right now, I'm just regular old everyday underpants and my regular old everyday bra. Not after five foundation garments, as the ladies like to say when you're wearing after five clothes. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not sucking in or anything. So, it's not doing, nothing's doing me any favors right now. But once, you know... An old trick I learned back in the days of working at Hooters, bend over, blow all the air out, suck in, you just lost 10 pounds. But uh, seriously, no, that's just uh, fun and games. But seriously, I mean, this dress, I love it. Absolutely love it. It fits fabulously. It's very comfortable. The zipper is smooth, but getting it started to come down, tiny bit of a challenge. That makes me a little nervous. That it might break. But for the most part, it's easy. It's a smooth zipper. Yeah, I can't complain. It comes in a couple other colors, like green, red, I think purple. Some nice festive colors that I might order as well for Mardi Gras season, the holiday season. Um, yeah, I might order the green and the red and the purple because there you have less than $125 with tax invested in some really cute cocktail dresses. So I love it. And I think I'm going to look good in all my pictures once I get my Spanx on because i got to hide my rolls. Love it. Be right back. I'm going to change in my comfy clothes. Okay, I'm back. Isn't that dress great? I'm telling you. Now, a blouse that I got in a previous order that I didn't show in my previous video is this one. This one does not have the size in it, I don't think. But I grabbed it out of the closet. Oh, here it is. This is a 4X, the size I was wearing before surgery. So it's pretty big on me. But I'm keeping it as like a cover-up shirt. And I just wear a tank top under it. And it's super cute, super comfortable. I'll link it in the description box. I'm not sure what the price is right now, 
but it's really cute. It's got um, elastic down here at the bottom. Well, it's gathered and it's got some elastic, but it doesn't look like elastic, as you can see. It's more tailored, and I do wear this still. Um, it's not that big and frumpy looking on me still. It just, it's, it's nice. Um, so I still keep this one around, but I don't think I've hauled this one. I don't recall putting it in one of my previous videos. So if I didn't, I'm showing it now. So yeah, I just grabbed that, but I will link it below. Now, a second order that I have, this is the fun order. There's a couple of things that I got as a gift for a friend of mine that I've already given to her, so I don't have them to show you, and I will just insert some screenshots, but I can just flip the camera around and show you guys. One of them is a little stained glass. I got her the letter D, but it's a little stained glass sun catcher. So cute about four bucks so so cute and the other was an evil eye bracelet and I got her the garden look colors it was two shades of pink isn't that beautiful so those are the two things I don't have to show you because the day the package came in she happened to be at my house and she lives about 30 to 40 minutes away so I told her to take them with her instead of coming back all the way out here Although she's also my esthetician and I will see her before the cruise. I could have waited, but I didn't want to wait. Um, okay, let's get back to this. One thing that was a flop for me, and it's not because the item was a flop. It's because I'm a flop. Um, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. Because I have lost about 70 pounds so far in my weight loss journey, I'm still not quite at a point where I can wear some of the clothes I want to wear. Now, when my friend Gray was here the night this package showed up, I did a try on. That's why I'm not unbagging this stuff with popping the bag open traditionally. But um, I tried these on. She loved them on me. I was self-conscious because I thought my thighs were just a little too big for this item. Now, the cost of these were $9.28. Great price point. These were going to be for the cruise. And I wish I would have felt confident in them, but I did not because I felt I had cottage cheese thighs. Look at these shorts. Aren't they fabulous? I might still take them on the cruise. And if I get a little bit of a tan, I've got four cruises coming up. So I have another one coming up in about four weeks. If I get enough of a tan on this cruise, I'll wear them on the next cruise, probably with that white shirt I just showed you. That would be a great outfit, don't you think? And I just ordered some heels from Nordstrom in black and in nude, and they have yet to arrive yet, but I think they would be great with this. But aren't they great? But they are a little short, and I thought for as short as they were, um, my thighs just were a little too thunderous. So, yeah, but aren't they great for under $10? And these have a sellout warning for several sizes. So I'm going to link them below. They have they, several sellers sell these on Timu. So if you see the ones I linked are uh, close to selling out, look for other sellers. Don't give up. They're very comfortable. They are so soft. The type of sequins, as you can see close up, they're the same type as on my dress with the shimmer fabric. It does not itch. It is super soft, super soft. So if you like them, and they do come in the plus sizes, if you like them, look for them. Look for another seller. They might not be sold out by other sellers. Don't just look for me. And I would recommend keeping the bag they come in so that if you do pack them, you have somewhere safe to pack them and you don't have the sequins coming off. Um, yeah. Now, the next couple of things I'm going to show you are just for fun for the cruise. Yeah. So one of them is this awesome bucket hat. 
and the bucket hat cost three dollars and thirty eight cents. Plus, I did get some refunds for it. And it's for 80s night. This is going to be a gift to the cruise director. Isn't this happening? Everything. It's awesome. I'll take my glasses off so you can see it better. Isn't that everything? For 80s, 80s glow party. This is going to be epic. But I'm going to give it as a gift to the cruise director. And um, you can see the print on it. It's great. So I think the discount that was given to me on this, it went down to three dollars and eight cents. So, yeah, I got a 30 cent refund on this hat, but I'm going to give that to the cruise director. And then the next couple of things I'm going to show you. I got a two pack of leg warmers, the two pack of leg warmers. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. And then I also got a kit, okay? And in the kit, I got a pink one and a green one. One for me, one for my sister-in-law. So in this kit comes, let's see if we can open this up. I haven't opened this one yet, so you're, getting, you're actually getting an unbagging today. In the kit comes everything you need for an 80s outfit. Okay, enough ASMR, Jen. Come on, get it together. Take these off. Some fun glasses. I need to starch this a little bit more crazy, but a headband. Some really rad lightning bolt earrings. And I'll insert a picture of me trying on the pink set. A necklace. Some O-ring jelly bracelet. Some palm gloves. And then leg warmers, so we'll have extra sets, which is good because when I tried on the pink ones, they were small and only went to like mid calf so we can put on two sets and get them all the way to the knee look how cool so yeah we're gonna look totally awesome so that's the set and then i bought also pink and green two twos to go over the most totally tubular outfit which i will insert a screenshot isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Now, my sister-in-law is about nine, ten years older than I am. So she really rocked the 80s so much harder than I did as, an, as a teenager, as an adult. Um, she also rocked the late 70s, where I was a kid in the 70s. And a preteen and a teen in the 80s. So we are going to have so much fun at this 80s party, which it's not the first one for either one of us. This is going to be my 37th cruise, and I'm not sure how many she's been on, but I'm sure it's in the double digits by now. Um, but yeah, I got the pink set also. Um, so we each have the matching T-shirt and the leggings. And I didn't put the tutu on for me because even though I've lost 70 pounds, it was really tight. And this is what I did with the tutu. I had to get creative. But I have already lost a few pounds since taking that picture. I might lose another five and the tutu will fit just fine in time for the cruise. Who knows? Um, and I didn't try the green one on. The green one might be a little bit bigger. We'll see. Yeah. And then I also bought something else, which the kits, let me put this in there. I didn't give you any of the prices. I gave you the price of the bucket hat. The stained glass piece was, let's put on my spectacles, um, $3.98 for the stained glass. 
and that was partially refunded. The price went down, but it doesn't say for how much. Um, the 80s kit was 809 each. The two twos were 297, but they got partially refunded down to, it doesn't say what they went down to. But they were two ninety seven when they started, and then I did get partial refunds. Um, the leg warmers were three ninety nine for a set of two. The leggings were six sixty nine each. The t shirts were six twenty nine each. The two two again two ninety seven. The shorts were nine twenty eight, and the evil eye natural stone beaded bracelet was a dollar seventy nine. And then this next item that I'm about to show you was two dollars and forty seven cents but their price went down to two twenty four and I was refunded that difference um, as a Timu credit to my Timu account and this was a set of six of these Louvre looking sunglasses so I can pass them out to people if my brother-in-law and my husband want to wear a pair they can but they probably won't they're too cool for school but aren't they cool They've got that aviator shape and they're pretty heavy duty plastic. Rocking and rolling. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty cool back in the day. I was no Stephanie Zanoni, but whatever. If you know, you know. But yeah, I got that. And then I have more items coming in for another teeny video that I will be filming. That is everything for this video. Juneberry has knocked out, so she's not going to tell you goodbye. But I will. And I'm so glad that you joined me for this fun Timu haul. Hope it wasn't too chaotic. Feels like it was. Because it's crazy town in this little corner of my living room. And if anybody's wondering, this is not a Timu pillow. I think I mentioned it in a previous video. My mother, this is an Avon um, needlepoint pattern from 1976 when the Bicentennial happened. I think it had a date on it. But anyhow, it's from the Bicentennial and it's from Avon. And my mother sold Avon back then and she made this when I was a little girl. And I lost, I had the pillow up until Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Katrina took the pillow. And then I found the needle point on eBay or at a thrift store or flea market. I can't recall, but I think it might've been on eBay. And I bought the pattern and I told her, I was like, mom, can you remake the pillow please? And she looked at me like I was crazy because this takes a little bit of time um, <laughs> to do. She hadn't done needle point in years many, many years. And um, she said, yeah, I'll get around to it. And so she finished it in time for my weight loss surgery. So when I had my weight loss surgery, she came down to visit and take care of me. So she presented me this pillow as my surgical gift. And yeah, so this is not a Timu pillow, which I usually have on my couch. Um, this is an Avon pillow from 1976 that she redid for me in 2023 so yeah almost 50 years later almost but it's very nostalgic for me and my family because that pillow had been on my couch up until 2005 from 1976 to 2005 it had been in my life every single day and when Katrina came that little witch took it away from me so Maybe I'll do a Katrina video and insert some photos and y'all can see what we went through for Katrina. Um, and I can talk about that one day. If anybody's interested, um, comment below and tell me yes or no, if you'd like to know about my experience with Katrina and um, how that went. 17 feet of water. I lived in my camper for three and a half whole years. It was great. It was just great. I loved it. But we persevered and we're better for it. 
Anyhow, enough with that crud. Um, me and my music box are going to tell you goodbye. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween coming up. And if you're watching this after Halloween, I hope you had a great Halloween and you got lots of good candy. And I will see you guys later. I love you more than gumbo. Don't ever forget it. Bye. Mwah.